Hello everyone, today's discussion is going to be about this really interesting Robert Dickerson that has just come into the studio. Now as you can see there's a lot of beautiful intensity in this particular Dickerson. It's from the 1960s and that was a period when he was doing really strong charcoal work. And see the face and the eyes in particular in this work, that's a really trademark thing that we see in all of Dickerson's work. Um, there's a lovely shadowing effect too in the artwork where he's toned the background with the hair and it's like the face emerges into the light. That's an another lovely thing that we look for as a trait in good quality early work of Robert Dickerson's. So the actual painting is a really classic piece but it's got a special twist and something really lovely if you're a Dickerson collector looking for something really really different. This painting actually offers two paintings in one because if I turn the picture over, we will see that on the reverse of the painting, Robert Dickerson has actually um, done a second work. Now I'll flip it over so you can see how it would be normally if it was to be shown in this manner. It's just an unusual thing that we actually see um, one of Dickerson's works like this that has been preserved. And I've had it specially reframed in acid-free materials, but also so that an observer can enjoy the second um, side of the picture. And it's an interesting picture because it alludes to Dickerson's early life. It's probably inner city Sydney and the area around Surrey Hills where he grew up. And, and Robert Dickerson left school when he was 14 and is actually a self-taught artist. And he was a really knockabout kid and took all sorts of jobs in factories before he enlisted in the war. And luckily for him, in 1954, the National Gallery of Victoria bought a piece of his work and then he was on his way in the art world and went on to become one of our most iconic and well-known artists. So it's really great today to be able to show you this really special piece. Um, if I take it back to the front again, just so that you can see the front. The painting is actually called The Dark-Eyed Girl. It's from the 1960s and it's come in from a private collection. This would be the perfect work for someone who's never bought a Dickerson before because it offers so much in the one painting and it has this gorgeous piece of history attached to it with the second work on the back having been preserved for all eternity. Thanks very much for listening.